the burning rate then. So this will be our last lesson for the second quarter, for the second sem on applied physics and its vectors and scalar fields. So as a review, I think you already know naman the difference between scalar and vectors. So scalar only tells you the magnitude, while vectors tells you both the magnitude and the direction. So for example, for scalar, you have distance, and the value of the distance is 50 meters. So it's solely 50 meters, that is the magnitude, and it does not tell you the direction. Well, vectors, like displacement, tells you both the magnitude and the direction. So for example, displacement is 50 meters east. So east there tells you the direction, okay, that a particular body walks 50 meters east. So I've been discussing um, vectors and scalar fields, and of course, in um, curl, divergence, and gradients, which are applications of vectors and scalar fields. So for your quiz, I want you to write your name, your section, and date. This will be done individually. Okay, so I'll be presenting trivia and you answer the trivia. So on first trivia, you simply write number one and answers only. So there are five trivias in this presentation. So you will have, I will expect five answers there to be done individually. Okay, so you can just read the questions or you can pause the video so that you can answer the question. So the tornado that killed 18 people, including four storm chasers west of Oklahoma City Friday, was wider than any tornado observed or surveyed according to the National Weather Service and leading tornado researcher Howard Bluestein. The massive twister reached an unthinkable maximum width of 2.6 miles. So what is the name of this tornado? Okay, so just pause and proceed. So in mathematics and physics, a scalar field associates a scalar value to every point in space. So this is an example of a scalar field because it only tells you what the magnitude so for example this is a temperature ng gradient for example so usually kung nakasa mga temperature sa mga infrared scanner sa mga ano siyang infrared scanner class sa mga airport tabla class na they try to detect your heat signatures like for example if the person is feeling a fever for example so usually the ng cooler lines or the bluer lines tells you a cool temperature while the ng redder lines will tell you that a body has a hot or a great ng hot ng temperature. Okay, so taas ang ilang heat signature. So the more siyang red, the more nga taas ang temperature. But at feel no temperature is a scalar ng value because temperature does not tell you the direction. Wala matagambal ng 45 degrees Celsius south or 50 degrees Celsius south. Okay, so that is a scalar field. While a vector field, of course, it tries to show you an arrangement of vectors, just like your magnetic field. So magnetic field, you can see an arrowhead. Okay, usually a monosang arrowhead can indicate a vector because it tells you direction. So scalar field, of course, wala arrow, kay scalar lamang nga value. Okay, but vector field, of course, nang tells you a direction. They can exist in any dimension and are useful for describing things that we cannot see, such as magnetic attraction and gravity. So gravitational field is also an example of vector field because gravity has a direction. Now, electric field, magnetic field, ano pa yung mga field, mga force field, ang gravitational field, sang sun, sa mga, mga planets, mga massive bodies, black holes, they all nang have a vector field. Okay? So, muna siya, as long as may arrow, may mga direction, usually sa mga ano, di ba, class? Sa mga weather reports, di ba? Sa mga weather reports, ang uh, direction, sa hangin, kung din sila makanto, okay? That is also a vector field. So, muna siya sa mga weather report, gina, ano, gina-flash ni Kuya Kim, okay? That's an example of vector field. <coughs> so, let's proceed to curl divergence and gradient. So these are ng other applications of ng vector fields and scalar fields, but most likely this is for vector fields. Okay? So what is curl? So for example, you have there a boat, a paper boat, and in a whirlpool, for example, or a boat na lang sa whirlpool, sa dagat. So the curl is the force that pushes around that body in a circular motion. That is the very definition of a curl. Ang reason nga ang boat gamat-amat pakato sa center is because of the curl. 
So, curl or circulation is the amount of force that pushes along a closed boundary or path. It's the total push you get when going along a path such as a circle. So, for example, you're riding a motorcycle and the path is circular. That is also circulation. If you had a paper boat in a whirlpool, the circulation would be the amount of force that pushed it along as it went in a circle. So, the more circulation, the more pushing force you have. The greater ang pushing force nga makapakwanto sa boat into the center. So, kung greater circulation, sa isa ka black hole, for example, or a whirlpool, grabe ang iyang uh, suction force. So, curl is simply the circulation per unit area or the circulation density or rate of rotation, amount of twisting at a single point. So, that is the symbol of the curl. Gabriel del, del operator, this is a uh, calculus ng symbol. So, never mind. So, mo siya ang aton nga, nga symbol for curl. So, for example, you have a paddle wheel that tries to measure spin. Okay, so, curl, that your curl, actually shows you your vector field. So, kung mag-spin ka da, so, ang isa ka paddle wheel, or garotate, tabi nga object, it will generate a curl. So, any da nga object, nga maglabay da ka ron sa yung mga nga path, nga may curl, of course, it will, it will follow, it will be pushed towards a particular path. So, conservative field sub zero curl, there are no free twists to push you along. Alternatively, if a field has a curl, it is not conservative. So, ang isa pag define sa ang isa ka curl, if it is conservative or not conservative. So, there are no free twists to push you along, that is conservative, or it has a zero curl. So, dapat may na-deliberate sa nga twist. So, ano ang application sa mga curl? So, of course, like again, you have the tornado. So, strong wind currents form into a circle that finally forms into a tornado. I think you know naman what forms a tornado when you have two in ang opposing wind currents na lay in a direction. And when they meet, they form your tornado. So, the greater the curl, of course, the greater is the suction power of your tornado. So, trivia number 2, in 1797, Black Griggs of New Hampshire was granted the first American patent for a washing machine. So, you simply write the first name of this person who was credited for inventing the washing machine. So, I'll just inang try to do this fast so that hapos lang mag-upload some file. So, let's skip this one and just go to this particular formula because this is calculus, you have the integral. So, curl is simply the, so the circulation per area. Diba? S is for the area. So, we use ng integral to determine the area under the curve. So, sa so, sample, may alakada ng sa graph na black west. Diba? Derivative. Amo na siya ang sa may do, particular point sa isang graph. Ang dalong sina, ang area below sa isang curve. That's actually your integral. So, force position R. So, this is your force position R multiplied by the direction of position R over area your circulation while the next in application is the gradient that is for simply a other word for derivative or the rate of change of a function is a vector a direction to move that points in the direction of greatest increase of a function and it's zero at local maximum or local minimum because there is no single direction of increase so basically gradient is just a what it tells you the direction of greatest increase of the function. It points you toward the highest point. That's why it's zero at local maximum to the highest and local minimum to the lowest because there's no single direction of increase. So, for example, you have the bread man inside the microwave oven. So, the difference between coordinates and gradient is that coordinate tells you where you are. So, when your coordinate is 352, or it's about 352. Well, gradient tells you to where you are going okay where you are going to the place where there is a greatest increase so kung mo x gradient dyan is x3 so makatos siya sa 3 1 2 3 then y4 1 2 3 4 then z5 a uh, y3 5 na mo sabi for example lang then z5 1 2 3 4 5 so somewhere around here is the gradient or the point of the highest increase in a function so in this case base mo na yung point na taas ang temperature so that's why, kung mag-labot na sa taas, the gradient will now be zero. Kaya nga, ah, ara na sa highest nga point. Okay? Kaya nga, kung naraka sa highest nga point, wala ka na yung kataas pa. Correct? 
That's why gradient is zero at the highest point. So next review, they developed the first commercial microwave cooking oven. So what is the name of this company? Do Adidas, no? What's Adidas? What's the name of this company? This is trivia number three. Oh, trivia number three in this class. Correction. Then this is trivia number four. May correct exchange ko lang class na trivia number four. Oh, three to siya lagi na. To make microwaves that can heat cook food. What is the meaning of this high-powered vacuum? Okay? So, divergence at a point naman niya, x by z is the measure of the vector that flows out of a surface surrounding that point. So, amun na siyang symbol ka, divergence. Di ba ang curl is your x, divergence is your dot. Okay? For the vector. So, you have there, divergence. Di ba may say divergent? Just spread out. So, for example, you have your particular point. So, you have a positive divergence because all the vector fields are pointing outward or just spread out sa imong particular point outside your imaginary surface. So, for example, mayroon ka na hose. Buo, ano sabi ka hose? Ka nag-sprinkle, ka na tubig. Of course, you have positive divergence. So, sulit naman sina, you have the negative divergence. For example, mag-drain ka na sa tubig sa bathtub. Okay, that is negative divergence. Kaya nga, wala ga spread. So, nag-converge. Nag-convergence sa yan. Okay? Is this still positive divergence? While some are being sucked, others are still spreading outside or going out your particular point. And this one is zero. Kaya nga, wala man siya sa may gina-spread. Wala man sa may gina-converge. So, that is the divergence. Okay? Okay? So, this is the verges wherein, di ba kung ganda ko ang arrow, the greater ang magnitude? Okay, so positive dyan po ng itong nga divergence. So, you have trivia number 5. He demonstrated the electric and magnetic fields. 5 na nino? Di lang kahit. So, 4 ni siya. This is now trivia number 5. So, just na write a correction. So, who is this person? I think you know this one. Just, just write a complete name of this person. Okay, so we don't need to discuss this one. So divergence, of course, is applied in your fireworks. Di ba? Just spread out ang aton nga explosion because of the use of gunpowder being launched in the sky. Then the capsule is launched into the air. The capsule explodes, sending burning, coloring material. When you were in grade 9, now I think you discussed about the color signatures sa spectrum, sa mga chemicals. Like, anong colors? Ang hydrogen. Amo man sa class, ang principle ang gina-apply sa fireworks. Each of your in ang chemicals there have their own inet color when they are na being burned. That's why may arang red kung sunugon. Like, for example, ng calcium chloride. Uh, sodium chloride is yellow kung sunugon. Something like that. So, the capsule explode burn is a ball growing in size until all of the capsule's material is used up. Okay, this is now your sixth trivia. So, 1 to 6 na lang kasi ang atang na trivia. So, the country holding the Guinness World Record for the launch of the largest firework was in Dubai. Where was the country who held the previous Guinness World Record? So, kung ang recent is Dubai, ano ang before sina? Okay? That is your trivia. Ano ang nag-held?